Hip external rotation fails in rails, all right? This is gonna be out of our 90-90 position, so quick reminder in this base position, all right? We wanna be 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hip, and then 90 degrees at the knee, all right? Now for external rotation, all right? That's gonna be over that front hip, so we wanna turn our torso completely over where this front thigh is in line with this front hip, all right? Now to get in the passive stretch for external rotation, we wanna lock all the tissue down in the back. So we wanna keep our chest big, squeeze the low back, and we wanna to go to a little bit of anterior tilt, so trying to stick the butt out. Now to get into the stretch, we wanna think we wanna reach our belly button over that front knee. So he's gonna reach and he's gonna maintain the tension in the spine. He's gonna find his end range uh, hip external rotation, all right? So you should feel a deep stretch on the outside of that front right hip, all right? So when we're in this end range hold, or this uh, passive stretch, we want to think we want to hold this position for two minutes, all right? Now during these two minutes, we want to think uh, diaphragmatic breathing, right? We try to relax as much as we can into this stretch. So think big four second breath in through the nose, and then even bigger eight second breath out, all right? So once that two minutes is up, we can go into that first pales contraction. So before we get into the pales, remember we have to go through our five second rep, all right? So building the tension up, so hands are gonna be on the ground, all right? So we're gonna think one, drive hands in the ground, build tension in the arms. Two, squeeze everything in the back, keep the back locked in, chest nice and big. Three, lock the abs down. Four, and then drive this trail leg down, all right? So now we have tension in the leg, tension in the trunk, tension in the arms, all right? So now we can go into that first pales contraction. So with the pails, we wanna think there's a scale under my ankle and my knee, all right? So we just built our tension up. Now we just wanna think driving the ankle and the knee into the ground at 10%, all right? Driving into that scale should read 10, then we'll go up to 20, so you're driving a little harder through the ankle and knee, 30, and then we'll work all the way up to 70, all right? So once we hit 70, we'll hold that contraction for the allotted time, and then we'll reverse the tension and go into that rails. Now when we go into the rails, keep the tension in the body, don't come out of the passive stretch. Now the goal is to read zero on the scales. So I'm trying to drive the ankle and knee off the ground, closing this gap right here. I'm trying to squeeze that ankle and knee up towards the chest, hold that for the allotted time, then we'll relax, sink a little deeper into that passive stretch, and then we'll repeat the process.